From the earliest days, Australian astronomers were making measurements and cataloging stars because, of course, the southern sky was completely different from the one the Europeans knew. Governor Darling hired official astronomers who catalogued over 7,000 new stars. Now, of course, with all the city lights, the observatory is no longer used. It's a museum, and you can visit it. This area, Darling Harbour and Piermont to our left, and Glebe Island beyond Piermont, have long formed the heart of Sydney's shipping industry. As the industry changed shape, so did this area, with the invention of container ships in the 1970s, and roll-on, roll-off shipping, in which the cargo is driven straight on board. Much of Sydney's shipping industry has moved to new facilities to Botany Bay to the south. But as you can see, Sydney Harbour itself still handles a great deal of traffic. The world's greatest natural harbour handles over 2,500 ships a year. This tower on our right is the control tower for Sydney ports. It's used for guiding ships in the harbour. Port Jackson covers more than 55 square kilometres and about half of that is never less than nine metres deep, even at low tide. Though it only extends 21 kilometres inland, it contains so many little bays and coves that it has 250 kilometres of foreshore, including approximately 15 kilometres of 